Hi friends, this is Mehek and I am an interior designer. Welcome to the Designer Square by O Homes. As per our last video, we have uh, decided and promised you that we will come up with some interesting uh, construction material that we use and that mostly designers and architects use in their uh, designs, uh, especially in green buildings or uh, if they want to make their interiors look early or close to nature. So they use few materials which uh, can be, uh, which can you say sustainable interior material or you can say um, eco-friendly material. So uh, we will talk about uh, these materials one by one and uh, let's see how you can use it in your home. So let's do it. So the first material that uh, uh, we can discuss is the ram dirt. So what exactly is the ram dirt? Ram dirt is something, um, the land, uh, the barren land, the, the soil from that land. We can, we can dug the land out, but we can dug the soil out from that land and can use it in uh, making walls and making floors for uh, any house or any building. Uh, such as if you have heard of uh, uh, the Great Wall of China, at that point of time there were no you know uh, any instrument any uh, machinery or any any kind of uh, machines or tractors or anything so people used to dug out the earth from uh, the barren lands and uh, dug out the soil from the barren, barren lands and uh, they used to build build walls and floors from that rammed earth so uh, it is it is a very uh, very beautiful uh, material that uh, no nowadays people people are using it in the luxury houses because the the most important reason to use the ram dirt is like they uh, it actually consumes heat it it can be used as a warm material it can easily uh, you know uh, consume heat in the sun and in, it easily releases uh, that warmth in the evening so that is the beauty of this uh, material so if you google it if you google about the ram dirt you will see so many pros so many benefits that people are using it in uh, every house and uh, floors and walls so uh, i i request you to go through some uh, examples of ram dirt structures in uh, india only or outside india where architects have uh, created a beautiful beautiful structure from the ram dirt so if we talk about another uh, material that can be used uh, as an eco friendly material is uh, the bamboo so uh, if you if you see bamboo a bamboo is a member of a grass family it is not exactly wood so uh, so it it counts in the bamboo family if you if you see any kind of you know low key and uh, earthy or uh, if you, if you go to any restaurants with the earth theme or nature theme you will see uh, they have they create very early vibe by cre uh, by uh, creating fences of bamboos so uh, bamboos are something which is easily available and uh, it can be used in any type of interiors especially where uh, you are creating some eco-friendly vibes where I, where you we are creating some uh, natural natural uh, themes where where you are using plants and woods and ram dirt so you can you can just use bamboos and uh, the most interesting fact about bamboos is that they can grow up to three feet in less than 24 hours yes so uh, so it is it is uh, something that is very interesting and people are using it because it is easily available uh, it doesn't grow in antarctica that is another fact so uh, Whenever you plan something uh, interesting, just use bamboo as your decor item or uh, bamboo as your fences or in your wall decor, anything. So people nowadays use uh, green walls and uh, green roofs as to, to create a uh, eco-friendly vibe and to create a, you know, a stress-free environment in their offices and in the workspaces and um, 
the house also so uh, in 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 uh, today's time where everyone is working from home they uh, they prefer to be in that area where nature is close as we discuss in our every video and uh, still still we are stuck to it that uh, even the eco friend when it comes to eco friendly construction materials plants are another thing so um, the green walls uh, whenever you go to some um, restaurants nowadays or some workplaces or uh, anything you will see the there, there are few areas where they have created a huge huge uh, green walls and uh, th those green walls are uh, basically uh, structured with the uh, ms uh, ms or ss frames basically hard metal frames uh, where they can just uh, hold the uh, plants and they can just grow from them so there, there is a whole structure behind it uh, it is basically uh, is a designers or architects job to create that structure and to keep the plants and everything there so uh, this is one thing another thing is uh, timber so so everyone knows that timber is easily available and uh, it is it is the most important and the mo oldest material that uh, people are in touch with so when there was no uh, construction um, construction instrument so to to you know cut the uh, wood or cut anything or to mold it into some shape so what people used to do to even make boats they used to cut the timber they, they used to cut the wood from the trees and they used to make those long boats to you know uh, travel in the river or the ponds to go here from there uh, to and from ocean and uh, then there are a uh, few places in the village area and in the earlier times also people used to make huts from uh, the bamboos and uh, it is the most interesting um, fact that the wood is the oldest and the still is the most uh, uh, selective material that anyone can use in anything so wood is another uh, material that comes in uh, eco-friendly material and uh, this is the most amazing personally uh, personally as an interior designer I prefer to you know clad the walls or clad the, the uh, roofs or ceilings with wood because wood looks beautiful in every way and uh, with so many other factors like uh, it is eco-friendly it, it is it doesn't go out of fashion in any ways and uh, it just looks beautiful because every every part every part of the timber that cuts down from the different tree they they produces different grains and uh, you will never see two two uh, timber panels with the same grains so so that is some uh, something which is very interesting when it comes to material grains so uh, wood is my favorite you can google it uh, for your knowledge uh, other than that, uh, the things that uh, would provide, uh, other than being eco-friendly, that there are thousands, thousands of reasons uh, why designers and architects use wood. So these are a few products, few construction materials that we uh, wanted to share with you and. Uh, Definitely there are so many other materials other than these uh, which are in market and which are surely uh, eco-friendly and uh, can help anyone to build their own eco-friendly environment. So um, in our next videos we will definitely uh, tell you more about few factors about interior elements and interior uh, based topics and uh, if you want to ask any question regarding eco-friendly materials uh, through this video and uh, you can just uh, like our uh, page and uh, get the information regarding the further videos and further information regarding any topic and if you like us to share any kind of information uh, 
based on anything related to interior and architecture you can also share that in our com comment section on youtube so um, i will see you next time with the uh, different topics and uh, different uh, different areas of interiors and architecture basically so uh, thank you for listening to us and uh, thank you for being on design square signing off